Hi everyone, uh, got really lucky that my uh, brother uh, gifted me a uh, Asus ROG Swift 360GHz uh, monitor. Um, yeah, it's around, I think it's about £790 on Amazon and uh, they're really hard to get. I think they're about a one to two month dispatch. Yeah, I just got really lucky that, you know, he, give, he gave gave this as a gift to me, you know, thank you to him. I just wanted to show you it as well. Uh, let's just pop straight in here. Um, yeah, so that's it over there. The colors are really nice. Uh, it's ultra responsive. Um, if you want to stick around and, you know, have a look at my uh, Warzone settings, I'm happy to show you that uh, right now. And uh, yeah, so as far as I just want to show you my PC, it's my setup. I've got a 3090 Founders Edition, uh, i9, 900 kf uh, processor with about 32 gig of RAM, 3200 megahertz. I think that's alright for me. And uh, yeah, so let's just jump straight into these uh, settings. Um, apologies as well, I haven't got any screen capture like OBS or anything. But for this monitor here, I've set this. Uh, let's just go start here first. You know, if we go down here and uh, we go to, you know, click use the advanced 3D image settings, take me there. So I've done this. This is for Warzone only. So I've done, so this is the main setting I've done first, 0 0.65. And then t ignore film grain, put it to 0. And then if this is checked, uncheck it. And then press OK, you know. Next, uh, yeah, we'll leave all of these the same. Bring all of these. So yeah, uh, this keep it off. Obviously, do it this in in the game. You know the low latency mode, max frame rate. Keep it off. Let the game, uh, you know, control all of this. Refresh. You know, fix the refreshes. Keep it on that unless you're using G Sync. And then keep all of these the same. And then put preferred maximum performance and then keep your preferred rush refresh rate as application controlled let let the you know uh game control your app uh, control your f uh, frames or your refresh rate sorry um all of this but this is another one as well high quality this would be set to uh quality just put it on high performance sorry and uh yeah Turn this off as well, this V-Sync stuff, if you're not using G-Sync, um, yeah, because this causes a lot of input lag, lots, like loads of input lag, so turn this V-Sync off as well. Uh, but yeah, ignore all these settings, go to change resolution, obviously, put it as your monitor's refresh rate, and then go down here and then use, you know, all of these, you know, so it'll be on default colors, use NVIDIA color settings and then just copy this. So uh, next one will be that. So this is the main part to be honest, I think this this will all be set to 50, so this will be set to 50, what you want to do is put this on about, it depends on your monitor to be honest, I have this on 90 for this monitor, so I'll be honest it's a bit dark, you know I can't see, but for for my previous monitor there was an Asus Tough one, I had it on 80 and that was good enough, you know, so you can play around with that, um, leave all of this, and then obviously here put no scaling, Uncheck this if it's got that checked and then copy that. G Sync, obviously, I've got it off. I don't need it. Uh, video, yeah, this is the one where you want to put with NVIDIA settings and then change this to full. That'll be unlimited, so put it to full. You get better colors. Uh, leave all of this the same, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's that. So let me just uh, jump into Warzone. Open this. Yeah, we just quickly um Yeah, while was while that's loaded I'm gonna do this something I'm gonna do this quick. So uh while that's loading we'll look at these quick. So uh OD is an extreme gives the fastest uh guess gives the best input lag oh where's that gone? Game Plus, I don't touch any of this. I don't put I I set I had it set to uh, G Sync Esports. Just do all this yourself. Dark Boost, put it on uh, two. I think freeze a bit too light. Uh, image brightness, I've got it on hundred. Contrast hundred. Seventy, 70 I mean. 
variable backlight on it gives it brightness aspect ratio full and then blue light fill it's up to you color temps i put it on um 8200 but you can mess about with this you might want to go all the way up or stay, keep it lower it's up to you don't keep this the same uh put the i'll put the gamma at 2.2 .2. i've put this as yes on and then all of these i have uh I've left the same. So this is your RGB lighting. I don't really need to touch that, to be honest. And then for the game settings, I will put. Let's just see. So for the game settings, I've gone for general. It's my general settings. You can just quickly have a look at that. I've got all of this really, you know, on set on zero because I like everything close to the screen. Dirt um colorblind type. Got it on both square all of this is going to be the same make sure you turn dismemberment and gore effects off because uh it reduces uh fps drops and then everything here is going to be the same so this is where the main part is select your graphics card i've got it set to 360 uh, render resolution is 100 automatic disable v-sync Cust unlimited frame rate. The only reason I've not capped my frame rate is because if you unable uh, reflex, reflex low latency, you don't really need to cap your uh, your frames. If you don't have this enabled, then obviously cap your frames. But I recommend using reflex low latency. You know, and en enabled. Um, all of this keep the same. So I've got this as normal and normal. It's up to you. Low, high, enable, disable, disable. Uh, map yeah keep all of this low like everything here should be on disabled or low like everything here otherwise you're going to get some massive fps drops uh disabled DLS, dlss i don't need that filmic smaat2x i've got it on i've got it on that because otherwise uh if i put it down a notch or i select the other ones i get that jaggedy lines and i hit it really puts me off disable all of this depth of field world motion blur uh, motion blur, all of this, film grain put zero, I've got this disabled and that wouldn't matter. Um, but yeah, audio, there's some audio settings, you can just have a look at that. And then, this is all basically up to you to be honest. But uh, another thing is on, field, on FOV, if you go on advanced, make sure you put ADS field of view as affected. Uh, if you put it as if you put it as independent, you won't get that, you know, no recoil look. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you everyone. I hope this helped. And uh, yeah, drop a like and a comment if you need any more help. Cheers.